Draw it up. That's the way you draw it up. So second and 12 for the Indians deep, deep in their own territory. Oh, that's trouble. Yep. Got a little bit out of it, I guess, maybe. Cut back against the pursuit a little bit. Yeah. See uh, somebody coming off. Don't know who's. Looks like Landon BB coming off. Kay. Starting to substitute pretty freely already. Number eight, Noah Perry so coming that, in. Yeah, that was Noah Perry. Third and 11 for the Steelwell Indians coming to the line. Got two receivers right. Wing set to the left. Hand off. Good, That's good balls pursuit. On the, I saw the ball on the ground. I think it's a bug on the screen. So going to bring up fourth and about seven for the Steelwell Indians. Once again... <laughs> Fort Gibson should have a really short field to work with on their second possession of this half. Cade Waggle setting up shop on about the 36-yard line, looking in. You know, it looks like it's going to play out to exactly what we were hoping, score a couple of quick ones and then uh, get some of those younger kids in. Kicks away. Short kick, good bounce though. Get away, get away. Really good bounce. Much better, much worse field position than I anticipated. You know, he did not do the rugby run kick that time. He just kicked it. Right. He set. I don't know if I'm a fan of that or not. I mean, I guess that there's a time for it, but I don't think I want to do it every time. And you see colleges doing it. Yeah, you see a lot of people doing it. It, it can work out, but I'm, I'm a traditionalist. I just like to <laughs> kick the ball. <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> I do, too. Good high spiral punt. Make them fair catch it and start there. People just so underestimate special teams. You just don't realize the impact they have on the game, on the outcome of the game when you're, every week. When you're evenly matched, they win the ball game. That's right. It. That's right. Tigers come out in the eye, hand off. Oh, nice little play. bounce. I think it's going to be a first down. Took out the down marker. It's twice tonight. And I don't think that is that Toby, was West. Toby West. Yeah, maybe it was. Didn't look like it. I know. Eye formation again. Straight handoff. Good. Mm -hmm. Good job by the Stillwell line that time. That's they right. Met Toby right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I think that was uh, number six, um, Kanan Mink. He's the quarterback. Oh, yep. Second and ten for the Tigers. 6.40 to go and third quarter clock is on the move. High formation, Tigers back to pass, long pass. Just a little bit out of yeah. his reach. Big, big post route right there, Cade Waggle. Stop the clock. It's going to bring up third down and ten. So West. Tigers in there. Twin sets to both sides this time. Motion left. Quick pass out to the motion man, Cade Waggle. Got some good room. Yeah, if he gets us, boy, another step, it would have been over. Great job following his block in there. Yeah, had had a lot of red shirts out there. Well designed play. Clock 
Fox moving 6-11 to go. Inside handoff West. to Toby West. Lots of room. Yep. West gets outside, gets around the corner. Look gonna at that, have the first man. Going to have a first and goal. He picked up, I don't know, two, maybe three after contact. Nice job by Toby. Got a player down for the Indians. Going to be a timeout. We'll take a quick timeout, and then we'll be right back. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! Welcome back. First and 10, Tigers, ball on about the 10-yard line. I think, I don't know if that was a busted play or nonetheless, Mahaney may get in the end zone. He, he does, does get in. <laughs> kind of looked like an RPO there, but. Yeah. I don't know if the back was sure. Close up, close up of Waggle Mahaney there. So Jackson Purdue on again. He may be leading scorer after tonight. PAT attempt is back, down, kick is good. 50, one. So after that touchdown, your Tigers lead 51-8. We'll take a real quick break. Be right back. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of Tiger gear in sizes from children to adults. They do screen printing and embroidery too. Give them a call at 918-478-4873 or stop by 131 South Lee. Hello, welcome back. <clears throat> Tigers kicking off and that's a new kicker. Still well feels the ball, good return. Ball's up over the 40. Eli Skaggs doing the kicking that time. So Tigers will try to get as many names as we can. Tigers be substituting. Well, I still see, I uh, saw Tim Murphy out there. John Lewis, see Michael Johnson. Oh, boy, that was a pop. Heard that up here, and I think. <laughs> Jackson Purdue. Yeah, I think so. And then also uh, Ryan Caps uh, on that tackle. Ryan, pretty good size fella himself. So Caps, Johnson. And King. Second down and 11 for the Indians. Once again, Jace King. I think uh, first one there was Murphy, Tim Murphy. Scores of interest in the district. Broken Bow Hilldale still 17-14. Poto all over McLean 51-6. And fourth quarter, Muldrow still leading Salisaw 13-6. Wow. 
51-8 here, your Tigers. Just under four left playing the third quarter. Third and 12 for the Indians. Maybe delay a game. Yep. Goes bad, it goes bad. I think our White Hat's breaking in a couple of new referees tonight. <laughs> I think he is, and I think you're going to see that all year long. Severe official shortage in the Tulsa Officials Association. Third and long for the Steelwell Indians. Draw back to pass. Those inside. It's like a catch. I think he caught that thing. Just going to be a little bit short. Nope. I guess not. Well. Is he going to spot it they're there? They're marking it. Nope, no. now they're waving it. <laughs> Hard to tell. <laughs> they're getting used to one another. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Fourth like down, Tigers are going to be receiving the punt. Yeah, Cade waggle deep for the Tigers. Trying to get personnel on and off. Boy, that's the hard thing when you got kids out there. Oh, I don't know how that punt didn't get blocked. It's going to take a Fort Gibson bounce, and it's going to be. That yeah. was a two yard punt. <laughs> <laughs> two yarders. Yeah. Oh, man. Mm. Seeing some <laughs> new faces in the offensive line out here. Sissy Fairchild and Forrest. Well, it's like you said, you know, we're, we're just not really that deep, especially at quarterback. There goes Waggle. Swing for Waggle. Gets around he's the corner. Still and, running. And he's going to go the distance. Yeah, he's going to go. I'll tell you, nice job blocking that time by Branch. By Branch and Seth Rowan. Man, that's what you'd like to see. Those guys out there, you know, they all want to catch the ball. But when you don't catch the ball and you got a chance to block, they do. And that's, that's the way it's supposed to work. Only one guy can catch the ball. That's right. <laughs> Everybody else got a block. That's him. right. And and those guys did a super job that time not of not getting a block in the back. PAT attempt. Snaps back. Kick is up. It's good. Mm, it's good. So with a minute 57 left in the third quarter, it is Fort Gibson 58. Still well eight. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee, a prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Creating remarkable reactions since 2011, Reaction Wraps has devotedly provided their customers with quality wraps, signs, banners, and other customized graphics. Located behind Fajitaritas on South Scott Street, Reaction Wraps. Muskogee Powder Coating, doing projects big and small since 2010. Check us out on Facebook to see our work and give us a call at 918-681-4496. So welcome back. Ward Gibson, if you're looking at the scoreboard, it is correct. 58-8. Your Tigers. There is a pooch by Eli Skaggs. Field on about the 30. Cannot see the number. 75 Jake Spencer in for the Tigers 74 Jace King <clears throat> Seen a lot of new numbers now Bruce yes. Atlas yes. Potter's in Yep 
getting some of our young guys some time. Good stuff when you get those guys some time. Man, they're going to get a whole quarter too. That's that's really good. Stillwell snaps the ball back. Oh, inside handoff. He's he was still up. <laughs> I think they blew that dead a little quick. I do too. I do too. I think it was Connor Lepp that kind of horse collared him, and and uh, well, not really a horse collar, but had him around the neck. Yeah. Clock is running. 57 seconds left. Second down for the Stillwell Indians. Third quarter coming to a close. Snaps back. Oh, just about. Passes oh, away. Good coverage there by the yeah, Tigers. Nice close. Cliff Branch. Oh, Cliff Branch. Boy, that takes yeah. <laughs> Cliff Branch. Dallas Hunter Cowboys. Branch. I know. <laughs> Number 43. A long time ago, too. <laughs> That's when the Cowboys were really good. Really good, yeah. <laughs> it's like we got an injured Stillwell Indian down. Like a cramp, maybe. See number 64, Preston Davis coming in for the Tigers. We've got Ryan Caps, Preston Davis. Jace King cramped up. Boy, those are not fun. They are not fun. And they tend to last well into the night, at least when you get to be my age. Yes, they do. Oh. And like I say, Preston David, those young guys, man, they're pretty good sized guys. I mean, they got some, some growing to do still. Cheerleaders. Fourth quarter coming up. Yes. And that is the end of the third quarter. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with the fourth. See Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of tiger gear in sizes from children to adults. They do screen printing and embroidery too. Give them a call at 918-478-4873 or stop by 131 South Lee. Back. Starting fourth quarter here. 58-8, your Tigers. Fourth down now for the Stillwell Indians. I'm sorry, first and ten, fourth and ten. <laughs> kind of on a roll there. <laughs> I did. I was looking for some paper and lost track myself. So we got a flag, and I don't know why. I don't know. I, you know, you don't. I don't know. You don't want the game to get sloppy. You don't want to let things go. 
Trying to get some of your new starters in there. See Damian Maiden in for the Tigers, number 27. So we see those numbers, we'll let you know who's who's in the ball game, getting some time. Good pursuit by the Tigers that time. Ooh, wide open. Yeah, late back out. I think that's Mahaney on that tackle. Number six, Riley Ladd in the game for the Tigers. Is that who made the tackle? I may have just I thought. Believe, I believe that was him. I saw a four. I think you're right. Thornbrew into the lineup for the Tigers. Oh, oh movement. Looks like the Tigers were off sides there, so it's going to be first and five. Clock is running. Number 64, Preston Davis in for the Tigers. Stillwell takes the snap, gives the ball to the motion back, tries to get outside, does get a little crease, forced out of bounds. Branch. So it's going to be a first and ten for the Indians. Ball on about the 20, what, six, seven? 27 yard line. First and ten. So like number 54, Gideon Wood in the game for the Tigers. Sophomore. And still sticking with that trip set. Inside handoff. Oh, good nice tackle. Good job. 55 John Lewis and number nine Atlas Potter there. Yeah, good stop. That was a nice tackle. You know, Atlas is a big old sophomore linebacker in there, 5'10, 200 pounds. He is. He's solid. Solid. Name like that, though, you got to be solid. Mm -hmm. I see number seven, Jaden Johnson, in the game for the Tigers. Snaps back. Another good job. Not much room to run there. Oop. John Lewis. Solo tackle there. So, a little less than seven and a half minutes left you know in this our, contest. Our sophomores, we've got some nice sized kids. I think we do. We class. sure do. Absolutely. <laughs> Tenth graders, as Barry Switzer liked to call them. <laughs> <laughs> Snaps back. Quarterback rolls. Still oh, looking good. Pressure by the Tigers. Oh, yeah. Good job, Connor Lepp that time. Number 22, Connor Lepp gets the sack. Lewis and uh, Gideon Wood also. Looks like the quarterback's got some cramps. He's had a busy night. He's been running for his life, I'll tell you. <laughs> Well, got a change in the score, Gary. Bristow three, Wagner zero, fourth quarter. Wow. I don't know if that's – I guess that's one minute to go. That could be uh, the score. Could be an upset brewing. Yes. Broken Bow up 24-14 uh, on Hilldale now. Stretching that lead a little bit. Muldrow 20, Salisaw 6. Wow. Big score in the district. Yes, sir. Number six up and walking off. Those cramps are tough. Boy. Oh, man. Everybody that's played and experienced that knows what that's like. Mm. 
just crazy pain. Another four A score here. Weatherford Elgin, 27 27, fourth yeah. quarter. Yeah. Newcastle up on cash, 21 7. Clinton up 47 6 over Chickasha. Tuttle 44 0 over Tecumseh. Cleveland 23, Miami 17. Poto is final now, 51 6 over McLean. Mm. Clock is rolling again, snaps back. Quarterback looks, got good pursuit. I'm gonna sack him. You know, you like to see these young guys are in there and they're playing hard. They're going after That's the quarterback. Right. See number 57 now, Blake Cox in the game for the Tigers. Lots of D linemen in that's not played yet tonight. It's good. It sure is. Jake Spencer in the lineup. Tiger's going to take over. And Parker Lockhart checks in for the Tigers. Looks like he's going to take over the QB spot. Maybe down under the center. And off to the tailback. Tough sledding in there. Yeah, nowhere to go. Number nine, Atlas Potter carrying the ball for the Tigers. Four and a half left in this contest. Seven, Jaden Johnson checks in. Coach trying to burn all the clock he can. Landon Beebe checks back in. Tigers huddle right on top of the ball that time. Snaps back, inside handoff. Tough sledding again yeah. inside. Just nowhere to go. You know those guys. I mean, they <laughs> those offensive linemen. They've just not been in a situation like this. 73 Levi Hayworth in the game for the Tigers on the line. See number 16 in there for the Tigers, Braxton Miller. Number six Riley Ladd, Parker Lockhart, Damian Mayton. Preston Davis. Yeah, and you got to understand. I mean, those are those are still well starters still out there. So whoops! Whoops! Kids. whoops. <laughs> little motion by the Tigers. Hand off. A little jet sweep. Good room. Got yeah, good room. Yeah, picked him. Picked himself a hole there. It was a nice job. It was. Got picked up about ten yards. <laughs> Riley Ladd. So three minutes left in this contest. It's going to bring up fourth and two. Punt teams coming in. And that'll be the regular punt team. Jackson Purdue back to kick. Oh, snap, it's way over his head. Mm -hmm. See if he can feel this. Gets the punt off. Nice job. Great job getting the ball away. Takes a still well Indian bounce, but that's a good job just getting the ball away. Yes, it was. That one won't help the average. That's about an 11-yarder. <laughs> will, will not help the average. But still, like you said, just getting that thing away, that's huge to have an athletic punter like that. Clock is running. Yep, under two. <laughs> it's like still uh, maybe trying to work some some new kids in as well. Got a new quarterback in. Ball's 
back, hand it off. Good run by the Stillwell Indians. Picks yep. up about three, four. Looks like uh, Davis. Number 30, 24 for the Stillwell Indians. So just quickly, we'll uh, go through our sponsors again. Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Muskogee Powder Coating, Tiger Den Reaction Wraps, Dr. Debbie Coy and Dr. Kimberly DeRossett, The Learning Nest, and Armstrong Bank. We thank you all for your support. Hand off to the right side. Good run by Stillwell. Yeah, that's Let's see if we can get number six. Is that 19 and nine? That would Atlas be Potter. Riley Ladd, Atlas Potter, and Jace Austin. Third and one could be the last play, yes. Bruce. Yes, yes. Snaps back, and he downs it. Looks like that's going to do it. That's going to do it. Gary enjoyed it. And a big win for the Tigers. This uh, next week, travel to Tulsa McLean, correct? That's right. Be 2-0 in the district going in. That's right. Good start for the Tigers. That's right. Good start for the Tigers. So, wish everybody a happy weekend. And we are signing off from Leo Donahue Stadium here in Fort Gibson, where your Tigers... Polished off the Stillwell Indians, 58-8. Have a good one. Good night. Good night.